Hello everyone, today's topic is related with the raster and the vector data model. In this video, I am going to be cover about the definition of raster and the vector data model. Also going to be cover about the difference between the raster and the vector data model and try to be understand the basic uh, definition and basic comparison between the raster and the vector database through some examples or through some demonstrations. They are the two examples of raster and vector data structure. In the topmost, you will find out the raster data structure with having the pixels while you zoom in this specific area such as in the example of in this picture. And in the vector while you zoom in the particular area you will not find out any pixel or a grid as like the raster images. So basic difference between the raster and the vector is the pixel or you can say the grid. So here we are in the stage uh, where we can be uh, say that the raster is the best representation of the images. Image can be a uh, capture from the mobile phone or the scan images or the satellite images. Any one image is the best representation of the raster data structure. Whereas the second uh, one is the vector data structure. Vector data structure represent the special as well as non-special data. Spatial also represent the point, line and polygon whereas the non-special data structure represent the attributes of special data structures. A raster model is also known as the raster data structure as well as a raster model. For better understanding we have some examples about the raster data structure. Satellite images Aerial photographs, photographs that uh, are captured from the mobile phone or uh, your camera, survey sheets are the some examples of the raster data structures. For more uh, understanding, you can also zoom in the images uh, in your software or uh, from the help of your mouse. You will find out the some pixels uh, in your pictures. Each pixel, each grid have some certain values which represent the different different color codes for more understanding i am just going to be click on uh, some pixels uh, which is also representing the some uh, color codes uh, some rgb uh, values here as like this here we have another one uh, image which is the satellite image uh, same if you will be zoom in this uh, data, you will find out some pixels values uh, in RGB forms. So all these uh, database, all these photographs, you have uh, pixel values and these pixel values also known as uh, the representation of the raster data structures. So we can be conclude that the images captured from the mobile phones, satellites or from the aerial photographs or scan images are the best representation of the raster data structure. If still you have uh, some problems to understand the raster data structure, you may also be uh, understand that the formats which have a PNG, .jpg, BMP, GIF, EPS, SVG uh, format, these are the photographed formats uh, also known as the format of raster data structures. Now next one is the vector data structure. Vector data is also known as the vector data structure model as well as the vector data model. Vector data structure model having the three geometric shapes which is known as the point, line and polygon. And the metadata about the point, line and polygon is also known as the non-special data structure. Vector data structure is further subdivided in the two categories. One is special data structure, another one is the non-special or attribute data structure. Special data structure is representation of the location in form of the coordinates uh, such as the latitude and longitude. Whereas non-special data structure represent the attribute of special data structures. The example of the name of the road, name of the school, name of the forest and the population in uh, terms of uh, numbers. These are the non-special data structures. For better understanding, we have the another example 
here in the uh, top most right hand side you will find out the uh, special data structure which is the digitized map and the information of this digital map in the form of the table is representing the non-spatial data structure. Now the question comes how we can be generate the vector data model. To generate the vector data structure model you must have the base map. I mean the satellite images or the scan images. If I would like to be extract the information from this satellite images I have to digitize this satellite image. Suppose uh, I would like to be extract the land use category uh, such as the forest land, agriculture land and uh, the open land category. So, uh, in that case I have to digitize the satellite image. When I digitize that is called the vector data structure model. So we extract the information from the raster data set and convert this raster data structure model into the vector data structure model through digitization. So this is the best definition of raster and vector data structure. I hope this video is useful for you. So I would like to be thank you all of you.